In the words of S Club 7, there ain't no party like a Jack Pike party. <laughs> <laughs> That's about... No. Cut, but you wish you had one that long, David. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and ain't that the truth. Among the lucky guests are one Mr Andy Crow and one Mr Jason Doyle, both looking forward to their first game day of the season. Familiar faces on this sheet then today, Crow? Yeah, one or two. Yeah, people I've shot with before. Good team of guns. You shot with Mr Doyle before? No, I haven't. He's, he's come and filmed me pigeon shooting, isn't it? He's got a new hat on today. That's all that's left of the rabbit shot with his uh, 243 on it. Lovely sunshine. In recent years, Andy has been ducking behind bushes and gun buses for a quick change between drives for the Jack Pike catalogue. But this year, it's a more casual affair with a touch of flair. Or is that hair? Or possibly rabbit? I do like that hat. Do you? Yeah. Do you want to borrow it? No. The first drive is a gentle intro for Crow with half a dozen shots. This one keeping David on his toes. Ah! Worse. What is going to make this good day into a great day is the wind. The partridges are going to be supercharged. As Andy hates wearing a hat, the Vario ear gear will work as a windbreak as well as a bang buster. Are you doing any roof shooting yet? Or are you nah, we got a we got a beechwood, um, and there's probably oh, there's quite a lot of pigeons in there. Andy has a spare F-16 at the moment because the original's gone back to Germany for alterations. He finally had a chance between farming and shooting to have professional stock fitting at Blaser Sporting's UK HQ in Guildford. In the meantime, he seems to be coping. If you had a preference, yeah, pheasants or partridge? Partridge. Really? Yeah, I think I like little bombs, don't I? Yeah, I prefer the partridge. That's what I like. I like about coming here. Paul does a good job. He's got pheasants and partridge, but the old partridge, they do go well. Andy, not many people are wearing glasses. On a day like today, surely it's a benefit. Oh yeah, definitely an advantage. You've only got to look, look over there with your camera. You can hardly see, but with these glasses, it's made a hell of a difference. How many people do you reckon wear eyewear during a game shoot? Not a lot of people, really. I thought, I think more people would. To me, it's an advantage. Time for Elevenses, which is game sausages and nibbles washed down with some warming Hadrian's Wall slow gin. After a tropical start to the season, it's nice to have a bit of a nip in the air and in the glass. Now, most shoot days will involve a wager, and on this one, the first pigeon gets the pot. With £100 riding on it, Andy is keen to see if he can find it a good home, as is Jason. You've found the money. You've got the cash. Yeah, I got the cash and I've, I've been lucky. I've had the pound spot on all three drives. Um, my first day out this year. And yeah, I was really, really excited. And I'm so grateful to Jack Pike for inviting me over. And for the last four or five years, I've been speaking about coming and shooting at Paul's. So it's sort of been a um, lots of boxes ticked for me. And yeah, got to get the first pigeon um, when Mr. Crow is in the line, who's the pigeon guru, there was various rumours that he was going to take a frozen one out of his back pocket, but <laughs> when that pigeon started flying at me, I was uh, a serious dose of adrenaline and I didn't think I'd hit it, but luckily I managed to get a couple of grains in it and it came down stone dead, so 90 quid in the bag, but I think I have to do the right thing and give that to Paul as a tip. He's, he's put on a fantastic day here so far and the hospitality has been incredible. Like we'd, We've had a chef out in the wood and um, venison sausages cooked and little homemade sausage rolls and it's just uh, everything about it has been what I love about driven shooting. Really good banter, good crack, good friends and um, yeah, just a wonderful day in the field. Nice, uh, diamond shop. Yeah. Pretty cartridge, isn't it? Jason is on the Dark Storm cartridges today while Andy is giving the game ball grouse a go. Do they go as well as they look? Because the packaging is very pretty. When I was a kid, I used to buy cartridges because of how they looked. Yeah. <laughs> and with those, they're just the prettiest looking cartridges I've ever seen. Yeah, they are sweet. They've got them absolutely spot on. Too pretty to shoot. Yeah. Well, not fast. I'm shooting them. I'm shooting them. No, they're good, good cartridges. Yeah. Good on a pendant, Crow. 
You do a hairy chest? I would. I was thinking I'd make one for a pendant for the wife for Christmas, wouldn't I? Yeah. Yes, she'd love that. Yeah, she would. Yeah. Yeah, I'll end up sleeping in the shed. I wonder could I turn one into an engagement ring? <laughs> 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 hey, yeah. Did they? Hey? Well, I could sell it. Oh, oh ah. I see. I thought, I thought you were selling us first. You're going to get engaged, are you? Congratulations. <laughs> Does Gameball's in house designer do jewellery? He certainly got an eye for making stuff sparkle. Putting Gameball's gemstone looks aside, there is another reason for Andy to use the grouse shell the fibre wad. With plastic waste in the headlines, Andy feels he needs to be on the front foot with this issue. The sheets are going towards fibre, and I want to have a go, or we'll get used to it before we have to go. Um, but they've performed well for me today, so. But all my pigeon cartridges now, the ones I picked up yesterday, they're all, all fibre, so I want to give them a go, and give them a good go. Not, not go plastic fibre, plastic fibre. I'm going to go fibre and stick to it and see how I get on with it. The final drive is supposed to be the one of the day. With the wind even stronger, Andy needs to be on his game. Look at him, get up. Some real stonkers. Yeah, that was a good drive. For, good drive for me. And the chap next to me, he shot really well. He shot some nice ones. Um, but no, I killed some nice ones there. Well, chuff. Missed a couple of silly ones, but with this wind, you, you see them coming before you realise that they're on top of you. But I was letting them get on top of me, which I shouldn't have done. But once I shot them out, either on my left or on my right, it was no trouble at all. But no, that was awesome. Nice one to finish on. But it's been an awesome day, it always is here. It's been a game day to remember. Good company, good birds and good shooting. Thank you, Jack Pike.